Hello. Um, I'm just going to give you a little video of uh, machining a uh, a taper dowel, taper pin um, for the ball handles that I am um, I am producing. Um, this is all development work, so I'm not sure that the uh, it's going to work. Um, it might be too small to handle. I don't know. Um, this is one that I have put together with Loctite. I've got a quarter inch ball on here, a 3-8 ball in the middle, and a 7-16 ball on the end. And the overall length is... The overall length is uh, 1.5. Now that may be too long, um, but um, it's going to be for uh, this handle down here on the cross slide. Now the cross slide dial is uh, is about 1.2. In diameter and of course you have the handle here um, so this may be a little bit too big uh, uh, but I don't think it will because uh, unless I have something clamped on the cross slide that is going to come further out when uh, than the end of the of the dial then nothing's going to interfere with the handle. So um, I'm hoping that it may be okay. I'm also going to make one for the carriage wheel as well, which will be a larger one. Um, but I'm just in the process of, of doing this one at the moment. Um, I've, got the, I've got the machine set up with a piece of 516, mild, 516 diameter mild steel rod in, in the collet and uh, uh, this unit here slides backwards and forwards on the dovetail of this base here. You'll probably have seen it in some of the other uh, videos that I've done and I have a dial indicator at the back here and uh, I can adjust the cut that I take on the taper. Now uh, down here, um, down here, you may not see that, but it's a template, and I've made several templates, and um, there's uh, some here. Um, they clamp on the bottom of this block, and then there's a roller on a rod uh, attached to this sliding, uh, this sliding block. Which holds the the uh, uh, the cutting tool, the the, um, the tool bit, and uh, the uh, the the roller with a rod runs along the edge along the edge of the taper, and and that's what gives you the taper up here. Um, uh, here's another one that I've just made. Uh, I don't know if this one's going to be too big or 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 what. Uh, it may be too small even, but that's going to be to produce one of these handles for the cross slide, um, and it's going to fit in the quarter inch uh, ball at the at the at the one end of the of the ball. No, ball screw. Um, I'm taking a tenth hour cut. Um, I have been taking a tenth hour cut, and I've been uh, doing it by uh, putting pressure on there. And what I've tried now is I got a a short elastic band, and um, I've I've got this moving slide or block um, under. 
under tension uh, with the the rubber band and I'm just giving that a try now the finish is not that great but I think that maybe with a bit of pressure from my thumb on the final cut so I think that the finish will be quite good and uh, if it is at all um, not just quite right then I can use a a file a nice file to run down the surface and then a bit of emery cloth and it should be okay the fact is that I'm gonna these balls are gonna be locked on with Loctite so you need a little bit of space there uh, um, on the on the center ball I, I on the on the other handle on this one um, on that one I put a couple of little just a little tiny little grooves where the ball was going to be set the center ball and um, that allows for uh, uh, some of the uh, the Loctite not being squeezed out at all so uh, we'll just see what happens um, at the moment I have it running at um, 1300 I think yeah 1375 1400 rpm and what I do is I put a little drop of this is a um, uh, a soluble cutting oil um, I use it neat you can get a, a, a two liter is it Let's have a look. Yeah, you can get a uh, uh, you can get a, a liter, two liter, two liter. Uh, can't see it anywhere, but it's about two liters, I guess. Uh, I think it costs about twenty-five dollars. Now uh, this one was eighteen dollars. I just bought another one. I think it cost twenty-five. Um, and uh, I just use it neat it's white and I like it because um, when you leave it on the machine overnight when you come back in the morning the 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 liquid or the water if there's any water in the product the water uh, dissipates and you have a nice layer of um, oil on on the lathe so um, I like it it uh, seems to do a good job so I'm going to put a I don't know if I put a cut on already no okay undo that tenth hour lock that up and then just hold the handle and hopefully it's working there's a nice uh, a nice thin um, spiral chip coming off like a spring um, the elastic band it could be a bit stronger maybe um, maybe a spring uh, might do the trick but that's certainly not I don't think that's 10 thou it may be it's just an ordinary Chinese HSS tool bit in there uh, forget the last time I sharpened it up um, of course as it gets further up the side it may dig in a bit if it's not cutting um, so that's a possibility but um, I've just I've just now started doing this um, with the elastic band so I don't know what's going to transpire but as you can see there's a, it's cutting certainly cutting and it just saves my thumb a little bit I come under the stop 
and then I just wind it back to there and there you go that's that Oh, that's not a bad finish. Might be a little bit, uh, not a true uh, one degree taper. Um, I'm just going to remove that. You can see how much tension there is on there. It's just a just a small elastic band. Uh, the ball that I'm interested in is the is the uh, the middle one so it's just going on there's a bit of a lip there so what I'll do is I'll I'll run another cut the same cut um, under the pressure of my thumb and see if that removes a bit more because it doesn't take much as you can see it's taking a little bit off there But even if I use the elastic band just to rough it down and then finish off with uh, more pressure from my thumb yeah it looks like it's uh, the um, I was watching a, a video on YouTube uh, the other evening um, and the guy was doing some contouring on the on a big lathe yeah you see and um, the unit he had there was a, a commercial um, uh, type of unit uh, that was uh, controlled by hydraulic and it seems that uh, that would be the the answer uh, with hydraulic um, but there you go. So there's still running, yeah. That's a bit better. I mean it's only a hand on. So it goes on a little bit. Take a bit more off. Take off another tooth thou A little bit, it's a little bit like um, uh, machining dovetails. Um, you get right down to the the very end of fitting, and you take another thou off, and boom, it's too loose. <laughs> uh, so you see, it's not. It's barely cutting up at that end, so. Um, I'm sure it's not going to be perfect, a perfect taper, but then if you buy taper dowels and you have to machine the ends of the taper dowels then you have to make up a fit into, because you can't hold them in a chuck or a collet because they're tapered so you'd have to make up another, another fixture to hold them in the collet. 
if you wanted to machine the end off. Um, so let's see. There you see. That's good. I'm going to leave it there and say that that is the taper that I require and so I'll have to cut some off there but I've got to machine the end down to fit into the hole in the quarter inch ball uh, of course it would have been nice if I could have got uh, machinable uh, not heat treated uh, balls um, because they're buggering up my taper reamer a little bit because you've got the hard shell on the outside but uh, oh well I'll probably be dead and gone before I need it to use it again so there you go that's I'm gonna I'm gonna run the, the file along there and um, there's plenty of meat up here to put the other ball on and so that's basically the manufacturing of the ball handle um, I've got when I when I've made the handles or the crank handles I would say which is like it's gonna be it's gonna be shaped like this you see this is a, a large one it's a nice ball handle I think it come off a south bend and so this template here is scaled down uh, to suit the diameter of the ball the ball crank and um, uh, it's gonna hopefully it's gonna turn out that shape but in a small shorter length so we'll have to see okay I'm gonna call off now and I'll I'll get back to you with another video when I get further along thank you